Welcome back into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Last week, the Finley Trojans pulled off what many thought was an upset win against Whitmer. That win got the attention of everyone in the track, and the Matt Pease era began with a huge road victory. Our kids thought that they could go beat them. Um, they've been working hard all summer. Um, we, we had a game plan. We thought the game plan was a great game plan. Um, obviously, Whitmer's a perennial power, and um, they're loaded with talent all over the field, but our kids believed. Um, and so, you know, our athletes got after it, played with great effort, and everybody was confident that we could at least um, play with them, and we got off to a great start, and so uh, the kids played with effort and finish, and that's what we're all about. When Finley hired Pease back in February, it raised some eyebrows for sure. His resume speaks for itself. He spent the last few years working as a quality control coach in the NFL with the Tennessee Titans, but the Bowling Green High School grad was drawn back to the high school game. I mean, I'm excited to be home and taking over a high school program. Um, the biggest thing has just been COVID. It's been a, a learning process and tough, um, not right out of the gate, not being able to get to know the kids right away. Um, but you know, we're just, we're approaching it each week, just what we got to get done to, to get better. Um, and so, I mean, it has been obviously been a transition, um, but it's been exciting. I mean, they're, they're hungry, this town's hungry. Um, and so we're, we're just pumped that we get to go out and compete. They know your background. They know that you went from being on an NFL sideline to doing this. Does that kind of instantly give you a little bit of respect to the kids, you think? I think it could. I think it still just matters that you build relationships with our student athletes. I mean, they want to know that you care about them, um, and that's really what it comes down to. No matter what level you're at, it's about relationships, uh, whether you're NFL, college, high school, um, you got to build those relationships. And so it may have had a little bit of impact, um, but until you really get to know them, you know, like you just got to. Uh, earn their trust and go from there. Pease went from an NFL sideline to coaching and teaching at the high school level. While that might seem like total culture shock, there are more similarities than differences in the two levels. You know, obviously when you're at the NFL level, um, it's just more expansive what you're doing, um, but these kids are excited. Um, it's fun to work with them and you know, they're, they're talented and this whole league is talented. Um, so it's, it's great to just be a part of a community, have an impact and you know, do, uh, do what we got to do to get better each week. And so uh, there's more similarities than you probably realize. Um, obviously the speed of the game is a lot faster at the NFL, um, but you still deal with a lot of the same issues on a daily basis and trying to get things fixed and, and corrected. And so um, there's more than you, you realize, I think, or more people than what people would realize that are similar. If that Pease name sounds familiar, it's because Matt's dad is Dean Pease, the longtime NFL defensive coordinator who coached alongside names like Nick Saban and Bill Belichick. He won two Super Bowls, so being around someone like that your whole life certainly prepares you for a career in football. Well, I think the, the thing that he always was great at is he was a, a teacher and a high school coach before he climbed the ranks. And so he always just approached the game as just be a great teacher no matter what. Um, there's a lot of great coaches out there, but the ones that can teach and really have um, those relationships built, um, I think they go really far. And so that was one of the biggest things is that, you know, just be a teacher first and really make that an important piece and then get to know the kids, make sure they know um, that you trust them and care for them and, you know, everything else will take care of itself. You ever tell him you got a spot on the staff waiting for him if he, if he ever, you know, he's ever bored or wants to hang out? I did offer him. I said if he had his resume up to date, you know, maybe he could send that in. I'd take a look at it. But uh, we offered him a position, but I think he's enjoying playing golf and, and doing the retirement things that after 47 years of coaching he missed out on. So, um, you know, maybe in the future, but he's, uh, he's excited to be retired right now and get to spend time with the family too. Tonight, Finley improved to 2-0 as they beat Fremont Ross 31-18. Another tough test next week for Finley at home against St. John's.